peyote. How does it work and is it dangerous? In this video, we're going to be looking at the hallucinogenic peyote cactus, answering four key questions. What is it? How does it work? What does it feel like? And what are the associated risks? So that by the end of this video, you'll know whether or not you should be seeking out this hallucinogenic plant or avoiding it altogether. G'day there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jesse Crow, and I'm the Travelling Scientist, currently living here in Lawn, Australia. And on this channel, we explore scientific ideas and advice to help you live a smarter, happier, and healthier life. So what is peyote? Also known as Lophophora williamsi, peyote is a species of hallucinogenic cactus. It's mainly found in the Chihuahuan Desert, which runs along the southern border of North America and northern Mexico. In most places around the world, it is illegal to consume peyote, but there are exemptions for certain religious and sacred ceremonies, if that's what you're into. The reason peyote is illegal is because it contains a variety of alkaloids, the one that we're most interested in being mescaline. And I'll talk more about that in just a moment. But first, let's look at how peyote actually works. First, you consume peyote. And there are a number of different ways that people do this. You could eat the dried crowns of peyote cactus, or you could boil the cactus and make a peyote tea. Or you could just take a capsule that contains dried up and ground peyote. Either way, once you ingest the peyote, the effects, which I'm gonna talk about in just a minute, can take place within an hour, and they can last for up to 12 hours. And these effects occur because peyote contains mescaline, also known as 2-345-trimethoxyphenylethanamine, which is a hallucinogen with psychoactive properties similar to LSD. Mescaline crosses the blood-brain barrier and binds to 5-HD2 serotonin receptors. These receptors are also the targets of other classic hallucinogens, like LSD and magic mushrooms. And I've made videos about those hallucinogens too, you can check them out just up here. But what are the effects of peyote? Well, let me tell you. You might experience vivid hallucinations where you think you can see things, but they aren't actually there. Or visual distortions where everything you can see looks warped and blurry and weird. Or auditory distortions where everything you hear sounds bizarre and muffled. Even synthesia, which is a mixing of the senses, where you can hear mm. colours or taste Whoa. sounds. The effects of peyote can last for up to 12 hours, but as the body starts to break down the mescaline, those effects will begin to wear off. Ultimately, peyote leads to an altered state of consciousness, which is often described as positive, enjoyable, illuminating, and generally feeling like you're in a sort of dream state. Ooh but it's not always that nice. So finally, I wanna to touch on the risks associated with using peyote. There are many common and unwanted side effects that can occur when using peyote. For example, vomiting. If you take too much peyote, or if your body simply doesn't agree with it, you'll end up vomiting, a lot. Also, anxiety. This drug takes over your brain, which can be really scary for some people, triggering anxious thoughts, which can lead to a bad trip. And if you're feeling scared, uncomfortable, or anxious, tripping on peyote is gonna be a really bad time. You french fry when you pizza, you're gonna have a bad time. A good peyote trip could be amusing and enlightening. But if you start to panic, a bad trip could be terrifying. So if you decide to try peyote, it's important to do it in a safe environment with close and trusted friends to stay calm and embrace the experience, don't fight it. And finally, it's important to know that overdosing on peyote is possible, but it's unlikely. If somebody accidentally takes too much peyote, take them to the hospital and they'll be able to help you. In conclusion, peyote is a hallucinogenic cactus that contains mescaline. Upon ingestion, mescaline interacts with the serotonin receptors in your central nervous system, leading to a trip which is usually enjoyable and enlightening. Peyote is illegal and it can be dangerous, but if you decide to use it, be smart, be safe, and enjoy the experience. Anyway, that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I've actually made some videos about similar substances just up here. Feel free to check those out. If you have any questions about peyote or wanna share your peyote experiences, let us know in the comment section down below. Or if you have any other drugs that you'd like me to make a video about, let me know in the comment section as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.